Hey everyone, today's video is a quick tip Tuesday video and today's video is all about tips on how to straighten your hair. So the first tip is to get the best flat iron that you can afford. And you've heard me say before, curling irons, for some reason I don't think you need to spend as much money as you would on a flat iron. So with flat irons, I like to make sure that mine are ceramic plated. This is an FHI flat iron with ceramic tourmaline plates. It's got the nanotechnology. So try and select a flat iron, the best one that you can afford. And if I can, I will link below some other suggestions, um, either that I've tried or that you know I've heard work well. The second thing I like to look for in a flat iron is one with a temperature gauge. This one has an on and off switch and it goes up to 450 degrees and it starts at 140. So if you've got really fine hair, you know, just baby fine hair, you want to start on the lowest temperature. So I would recommend, you know, something 140, 150 and try it from there. If you've got medium thickness to your hair, you could probably go to 300. If your hair is extremely coarse, you're going to want to go all the way up to you know the highest that you can 400 or 450 for me I'm gonna go about probably 350 right now and we'll see how that works the second thing is I like to recommend using a heat protectant before you flat iron your hair now you can do it before you blow dry I did I used the Purology color fanatic before I blew it dry but then right before I flat iron I'm gonna use the Cebu Sashini and it's a thermal shine solution. I always get tongue tied when I say this. And it um, protects from heat styling and gives a little bit of shine. So I'm just gonna squirt this throughout my hair and give it a little bit of time to dry just while I'm talking. You don't wanna spray an oil on your hair and then right after go over it with a flat iron. That's not really a good idea. So the other thing I like to recommend when you're flat iron ironing your hair is to comb through it as you are flat ironing. And this is just a regular comb that I'm gonna use, but it really does make a difference. And I'll try and show you the difference if I can, if it will show up. They also make these tools that you can buy, I think Sally's has them, where it's like a, think of like a clamp, but it's a comb and it clamps it for you. And then you can take the flat iron and pull it through. And I'll try and link one of those below if I can find that. But for me, I just use a comb. So I just want to show you, for example, I did blow dry my hair with a round brush. I, what, I did it quickly because I knew I was going to flat iron it. But I just want to see if you can see this. Usually I do the hair tutorials in my bathroom, so we will see if I can figure this out. So I'm going to show you one side without combing through. And I'm taking about, I would say that's about an inch wide section and I'm going to pull it through. And I can even hear the difference. You can kind of hear your hair. I mean, that did get, get straight, but I want to show you on this side. If I comb it through, and then what I do is stick my comb in, take my flat iron, and follow the comb. I feel like, it, if you can see that, well, that piece I don't think I even got, but it just gives a smoother finish to your hair when you comb it as you're flat ironing. So I'm going to show you again. And if this looks too complicated for you, that other little thing I was talking about will be more helpful. So I'm just going to stick it in, stick the comb in, and I just hold it with my hand. And then I'm combing, and right as I comb, I'm following it up with the flat iron. Now you may see a little steam come off, that is just from the heat protectant. So, so there you have the straight hair. And again, you know, comb. I just kind of stick it in there. I don't go right at my root because I don't like total flat head, as I've said before. And just comb and pull it through. So there you can see that side. If I take an, another piece without combing it, it just, it doesn't lay as smooth. And when you feel it, it, it just kind of feels like it pulls on the hair. 
So I don't know if you can tell, but this to me looks much nicer. So that's just another tip. Use a comb as you're flat ironing your hair and you will get a much smoother finish. When you're flat ironing, you want to take your time. You don't want to clamp it and hold it. You want to keep continuously, you know, I just did it without the comb, but you want to keep it in a slow movement. And that way, if you need to go over it, you can. But the idea when you use tools is to use them as little as possible. So that's why you want to keep it at a pace. And if you need to go over it, you can. So anyway, just thought I would come on here and do a quick video. If you're straightening your hair, remember, choose a tool, the best one that you can afford. I prefer ceramic plates. Remember to use a heat styling product either before you blow dry or after to prevent some of the damage that can be caused from hot tools. And again, nothing can prevent it all the way. I know there's all this talk about split ends and all these products fixing split ends. I may do a whole video on split ends because really once you have a split end, the only way to get rid of it is to cut it off. And then the third thing is to remember to take a comb and comb through each section while you're flat ironing. So I hope that was helpful for those of you who want to straighten your hair and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.